Hello. Hi. I'm a cardboard Elvis. And I'm a cardboard sock. And we are from the YouTube channel Awesome Face Gaming and the website Battlestrats.com. What we're going to be showing you today is a user's guide to Forge. We're going to show you things that carried from Halo 3 and things that are new to Reach. Yes, we are. Um, this first bit here is basically showing you like all the uh, buildings and everything that are in Reach. And this little bit here is called a tower. Uh, structures are new to reach. Build yes. Actual structures in Halo 3. Yeah, this basically instead of having to build them from scratch using windows and doors or whatever, you can actually just select a uh, particular thing and it will um, make it for you, basically, yeah. Right, so anyway, uh, as you saw just there, rotation snaps. So yes. Makes it much easier to make buildings. Yes, it does. Because forging around. walls together perfectly in Halo 3 was extremely hard. Yet, in Reach, using the nudge abilities and rotation snaps and all that kind of thing, it's a lot easier. Now, um, as you can see here, this, this is the little nudging. nudging bit, where you can choose how many, um, like, how many, I'm not sure what units it's actually in, but basically you can choose how far how far along on the Reach um, forging grid you want a particular object to go. You can also uh, rotate. Yes, you can. In, in X, Y, and Z axes as well, so you can like make it horizontal, vertical, or um, diagonal angle. So, uh, anyway, as you can see there, it's got the uh, physics. Uh, normal, obviously, Halo Three style can't go through the wall, drops to the floor yep. when you let go of it. Uh, fixed, it can't go through the wall, as you can see there. It just it stops as soon as you've uh, let go of it, basically. Yeah. And phased is awesome. It's a mix uh, between geo merging and fixed, basically. If you're not sure what geo merging is, it's a method in Halo 3 used to uh, put other objects inside other objects, basically. But in Reach, if you've got a object with a phased property, is basically it can go through any item, non-forgeable or forgeable. So. Right. Anyway, as you can see, you can change the colours of walls, buildings, and vehicles. Um, which we are doing now to this mongoose. Yes, <laughs> I think we put it as red, don't we? Yeah, yeah. this red's awesome. And there we go, it's now red. Alright, this is just showing you how easy it is to uh, make structures. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not awesome at Forge, yeah, but... You I don't need really to be in reach, reach, to be fair. Because it's, yeah, it's that easy. Obviously, if you're awesome at Forge and Halo 3, you can make some uh, kick-ass maps. Kick-ass! <laughs> really <laughs> easy. Um... Yeah, I just make a simple building with a little ramp going between them. I do believe. You can make um, a lot uh, better maps for multiplayer in Reach because of the fact that you've got all of the uh, new ways to forge. And with uh, things like jetpack armor abilities and things like that, um, you don't really have to worry about having all the buildings and stuff connected together because obviously jetpack you can fly. So. Um. As you can see there, if you click down the right analog stick, it makes you uh, zoom in. Precise. Slows down the movement. Yeah, makes it uh, really precise. It's um, basically an enhancement of the precise mode that was in Halo 3. Because um, in Halo 3, you'd be on precise mode, move your control stick like a fraction of a bit, and um, it, the object would literally go quite a lot further than you wanted it to, to be honest. But yeah, as you can see there, I can't really uh, line it up easily, but if you put rotation snap on it's just... Easy. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> simple. A bit more precise mode there. Um, precise mode again. Yeah, I can't up really line it... I can't, I can't really line stuff up even uh, <laughs> with it being really easy. I kind of fail because my controller's really sensitive. Because he's got... Uh, for some reason, the Halo uh, Halo controllers, the Ma Xbox controllers, the black ones are a lot more sensitive than the white ones. To be honest, don't know why, but they are. Yes, they are. This is just another uh, little ramp bit going up. Don't know why I put two ramps. It just felt like two ramps. He was in a two ramp mood. Yep. <laughs> just me deciding what to put. Um, but yeah, tower three story. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Obviously, if we put in um, every object that you can forge, you'd reach into one video. <laughs> it would not fit, and you'd literally only see like a second of each building. So, we're not going to be able to put in 
everything that's available in Reach to forge with, but we will be able to put in the majority of things that are new. Like we said at the beginning uh, of the video, we're putting in the important bits and the bits that are, well, that we think are good and uh, make uh, Forge and Reach so much better than Forge and any other um, in Halo 3, sorry. So yeah, that's my look, simple building yep. thing. It's very good. Right, uh, this is showing you the properties of teleporters. Uh, it can change the colour of them, the radius of them, the shape of the uh, radius, like cylinder, square, etc. Just as you could in Halo 3, I think. Oh wait, no, you couldn't do that with... Um, teleporters could you? you could do that with respawn points what am I on about but yeah what you can do a little nifty thing in reach is uh, basically you can make it so uh, vehicles can actually go through teleporter nodes now and you can choose which kind of vehicles you want to go through light heavy or um, standard or whatever it is but yeah as you can see here uh, this mongoose will uh, eventually hit the man teleport. cannon there we go and through the uh, teleporter node <laughs> right, this is basically a little box I made for a kill ball machine, but for some reason I'm driving my mongoose through it. Because the mongoose is badass. <laughs> right, anyway, here we go. Um, kill ball. Yeah, kill balls have been moved to gadget, uh, toys even. As has the uh, tin cup and golf club and all that kind of thing. Basically, anything that you think would... Uh, make people laugh if they saw it in a Halo game that's all about war is now underneath the toy section. Yes. But yeah, little tiny kill ball machine just to show you. Because kill balls are deal. now affected by gravity. Huzzah! Well, uh, obviously they're affected by gravity, but they're affected by grav lifts and man cannons and that kind of thing. Right, anyway. These are the lights. It's got some new colours and uh, the thing I like is flashing, flashing lights. There it's flashing. And now it's gone. <laughs> Yeah, special effects, uh, they've improved the old special effects and added some new ones, like, uh, I think, yeah, old-timey, it's sort of got a little crackly effect to yep. it. Pen and ink was basically the same as what Halo 3 was, you can't see anything, but it hurts your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Purple uh, is a new addition, as is green, and the orange one, funnily enough, makes it look like it's a sunset, which is kind of like... What Juicy used to do on Sandbox, except this this gives it more of a sunset effect. So it's good yeah. for machinimas and that kind of thing. I do believe, yes, yeah, show new explosives now. Landmine. Uh, yeah, it's the only new uh, addition. Yeah, it's basically replacing the uh, trip mine from Halo 3 because obviously, with um, Reach having armor abilities, there aren't any equipment to use in Reach, like bubble shields or. Um, power drains or that kind of thing so what they've actually done is put um, a landmine of scenery which if you walk into like uh, Sock just did there or Bin Laden which is Sock in this video is um, <laughs> yeah I use different accounts uh, for achievement guides things like yes. that so obviously if any achievements uh. do come up you can see them appearing and that kind of thing but yeah this little bit here is the like shield doors I can't remember what they're called exactly but one way Shield. Yeah, it's basically you bounce all the way through them, but yeah, that's a bit skip now anyway. Into as he was hot. Right, anyway, this is a quick map I made. It took me five ten minutes, real quick, um, just showing you what Forge is capable yep. of. Like I said, I'm not the best at Forge, but uh, I think it's a pretty good attempt. Yes, it is. It's um, basically a little race map yeah. type. It's thing. based on the same kind of idea as the uh, Halo variant on Sandbox. That was from in Halo 3, which is like that. In fact, in case you never played it, it's like an infection game type where you um, have a person in the middle sniping the people around the outside. And yeah, basically, yeah, this one's popular. like a yeah, little dash to the end to get the sniper. So, obviously, if you're playing it on the pop game type, you don't have um, assault rifles, um, you'll have like pistol. And obviously, you won't be able to get there very easily because you'll have a everybody's scrambling for that sniper spot so you'll be running through and getting quite a few kills or getting killed quite a lot regarding uh, depending on how good you are so uh, yeah making use of the teleporter's Spoon. radius right there and you get the sniper yes and um, snipe any unwilling enemies in the distance <laughs> anyway initial spawn points are basically like respawn points but you only spawn there at the start of the game um, 
pretty useful because you can choose where you want people to spawn, whereas in 3 uh, they could respawn at any respawn point. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is the initial loadout camera, um, which is basically which uh, shows you the view of uh, what people will see when they're selecting the weapon class at the beginning of each game. But yeah, I'll show you more on that later and uh, show you how I despise cats and believe they are evil. <laughs> yeah, um, what I didn't mention about the initial spawn points is it's a lot easier than the starting points that were in Halo 3 because you can actually choose what team you want them to belong to. Like easier than what you could, it's less confusing than what it was in Halo 3 with like defenders, attackers, their fourth and fifth and all that kind of thing. Right, anyway, this is a new, it's safe zone, basically you can't die while you're in a safe zone. It's also soft safe boundaries. Uh, Whether you can't die if you stand in it for 10 seconds, after 10 seconds you are uh, liable to die. <laughs> kill zone, you stand in it, you die, soft kill zone, you can stay in there for 10 seconds after that, you're Yes, dead. basically. <laughs> Yeah, it don't affect you on Forge, it only uh, actually works custom on custom games custom games or matchmaking. Yep. Which is good because it's a way of preventing campers, to be honest. Yep. Anyway. Catfish. Uh, evil catface I made real quick just to show you uh, <laughs> about the initial loadout camera, which I went right past, I've got no idea why. <laughs> twice. I went past it twice. There it is. Right, anyway. Uh, <laughs> If you want everyone to know you hate cats, just uh, stick it in front of an evil cat face. Uh, and as they're choosing their classes, they will see the cat. <laughs> and they will learn to despise the cat and its evil ways. Another little thing we didn't mention about this is that um, the budget uh, thing is a lot better and the budget system is a lot better in this. It's a lot more even and everything. So. Right, anyway, as you can see uh, here, there's a uh, few glitches we're going to show you, like that one. Boom start spinning around sometimes you can fall through the floor um, this one is my favorite oh wait, no it's the next one that's my favorite I like this one as well though yeah this is um, basically if you put things on phase and put them through the floor sometimes they get stuck. <laughs> like the shield door did <laughs> yeah you, you cannot go anywhere with it you just gotta delete mm -hmm. it and here comes my favorite one <laughs> yeah right basically you start spinning uh, an object round, I don't think it matters which, and if you come out of forge while you're spinning it, it sends you across the map. And in three, two, one, you die. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, uh, thanks for watching guys, I hope this guide helped you yep. a little bit. And um, I'm a cardboard Elvis, I'm a cardboard and subscribe stop. to our YouTube channel and check out battlestrats.com. See you next time guys. Bingity bangity bongity bang.